day five. I can't believe it's already day five. I hope you can hear me because it's so loud. So for today we have something very exciting. Uh, we will approach a wild beach, a wild and rocky beach, which can be approached only by foot or by water. So we will have to walk there and the walk will be about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, and I think the weather will be pretty nice today, hopefully, because yesterday was, <laughs> was so rainy. Uh, so I hope we will be lucky. And um, yeah, today two beaches and then we have in Santa Ursula, which is uh, very close to um, Puerto de la Cruz. We will have uh, a little park and uh, there I saw on the internet that um, there is this uh, sculpture of a lady covered in moss. It's very beautiful so I definitely want to see that. Uh, but I think on our way back. So uh, yeah, right now uh, we will go um, have our breakfast and then we'll hit the road. So. And for today I put my hair up in a ponytail because I will be wearing my cap. Uh, I have this cute uh, pink top from Popflex Active and my shorts from the cap one and of course hiking boots. On our way to Chamorga, we stopped at Mirador Jardina, which offers one of the most breathtaking panoramic views on the island. From here you can see the city of San Cristobal de la Laguna. We continued driving through the Anaga Mountains and stopped at Asiata Ganana viewpoint to take some pictures and we could see Roqueta Borno from here. And this is a view of San Andres and Playa de las Teresitas. get my boots and uh, we will have like three kilometers uh, to reach the beach and it's good because it's not that uh, sunny and it's not that hot but also it's a nice weather and still a bit warm and we're glad that it's not raining so that's the best part problems a la playa a la playa we found some cactus fruit It's actually good. Yeah, me some vitamins for the 
road. You're feeling much better now, right? <laughs> Happier. <laughs> careful with the cactus fruits because <laughs> they have lots of uh, spikes little ones and they get so easily in your skin as you can see it is advised to wear hiking boots because the trail is mostly rocky bring enough water and food because there's a long way and there's no place you can buy from beach uh, I think I am getting closer but oh my goodness this is not an easy way it's not an easy path but I really want to get there I'm not giving up if I came way then I'm not giving up I want to see that I want to see why is it so I don't even know if it's popular actually because uh, not, many, not many people come here for obvious reasons let's see the red cross okay it's not flooded so we can continue the crossing Oh, but it's it's quite tiring. It's okay with me. I feel really sorry for Adrian because I'm sure he stopped <laughs> or he will stop along the way. But I'm not that high up in the mountains, so that's a good sign. I'm, I'm getting closer and closer. Definitely is not recommended to come alone and my water is at Adrian but oh, hopefully I can see the ocean from that corner over there let's see I have so many more corners oh man I feel so bad that I left him behind but I think my condition my physical condition is way better and I can walk faster around. Oh my gosh guys, I can see the ocean! Yeah! Now I just have to get down real quick quickly but carefully so when they say that let me just show my face a little when they say that it's an hour and a half walk, uh, it is. I don't know, uh, I have a much faster pace, usually, <laughs> because I don't want to waste time, uh, but you still have to be careful. So, I think if this is meant to be an hour and a half, then I guess that I can make it in an hour. Oh, damn it, I think the way up will be so much more tiring, but I think it will 
be worth it hopefully so we're getting close and that gives me more strength and energy and just i want to see that beach i want to take some photos oh my gosh i can see it but it's still so far away And it will be a bummer if the tide is high and I can go on the beach. And I think it will be a high tide because I think it's way afternoon. So, and I can see one rock, but maybe, maybe, maybe we will be lucky. Okay, this part of the video is getting too long, so. Uh, okay, it's not that rocky here anymore, which allows me to go a bit faster. I really like the scenery. Oh my gosh! Definitely getting closer, but that's a good sign. <laughs> okay, it was a nice hike. Definitely in the summertime would be, I guess, too hot because you don't really have shade. Uh, so I think the wind came very good today. I don't think that I would uh, hike this path again. No way, <laughs> no way if I ever come to Tenerife again. I mean, once in a lifetime, yes. Uh, it's, it's enough. I don't blame Adrian that he didn't want to come. I should have known that it would be difficult for him. Oh, and there is a lighthouse and let's just stop to admire the scenery. Okay guys, we arrived. It's high tide so I can't go down there. And I think with low tide would have been a completely different beach. But uh, let's enjoy the view, shall we? And uh, I will take some pictures and then I think I will go back. I will start my climb. Oh my goodness. It will be such a long and uh, tiring trip. I have to find Adrian somewhere along the way. But uh, until then, I will take some pictures and I want to thank you guys for coming along with me at least. I wasn't on my own. So yeah, it, it's such a breathtaking view. Still, I don't know, I think it was worth it. Oh well, what's done is done. It's still nice here. I think I can still manage to take some nice photos so I will do that and then I will see you at the car hopefully
We arrived at Roque de las Bodegas beach where we washed the surfers and had a light lunch, shrimp sweet and garlic in hot oil and mojo sauces, and of course, barraquito. So at Playa Benijo we didn't find a way down, which is silly, but I took some really nice pictures and videos from up there. Benijo Beach is surrounded by the incredible Anaga Rural Park and its majestic cliffs and mountains. The beach is quite isolated and unspoiled, there are no facilities. The rising cliffs from the ocean make this beach even more interesting. in La Quinta Santa Ursula as I was saying earlier to take a look at this beautiful sculpture of the lady covered in moss this is one of the hidden treasures of the island that not many people know about